you as well. I'm gonna put a 32 bit windows on this. This will run Windows 7 32 bit from what I can tell so far. I've also, uh, power's been off for three hours this morning because they're doing maintenance on the power network. So, in order to get Wi Fi, I had to run this thing off a 12 volt battery. Fine 3G coverage and all that good, so using the laptop and some Wi Fi off this thing off a battery got me by. Anyway, let this thing load up. We can get this thing all uh, set up ready to go. This one here still has a bit of problems with it, too. For some reason, I must have to do a check disc error again, so. I'm going to have to get an Acronis, Specky, and Speed Fan. Speed Fan and Specky say both say all well, my hard drives are good. Except for the, um, my usual ones, which other ones have bad sectors. And Acronis thinks otherwise, thinks it's good. But, um, on the laptop, it said uh, Speed Fan said the uh, laptop hard drive had lots and lots and lots of allocated sectors, but uh, Cronus and uh, Powerform Specky both said everything's good. There's nothing wrong with that hard drive. So even though it's using the smart the smart data that's on the, um, the hard drive logic board, the programs know which one do I believe? Everyone recommended a Cronus, and it says all oh, everything's good. So yet Speed Fan thinks otherwise. Anyway, I'll get Acronis on all my computers just to double check everything is fine. Since um, Acronis is recommended by all the PC techs around here. Anyway, that's a. Uh, gotta love small form factor computers. Even the ones at school. I plug headphones in, there was all sorts of background noise going on. Much just a characteristic of these boards. I'll take a bit. When that goes, uh, while I'm here, the yeah, battery in my iPhone decided to take a shit. iPhone 5 is easier, and not many people are liking, but, but I got what was available. They only had the pretty pink ones, an iPhone, uh, it's our iPhone 5S, but they weren't very good. They had too low, too low memory on them. And I wanted the highest memory I could get, so I got this one. You can see the batteries bulge and push on my front screen out. I've ordered a good, uh, I've ordered the um, battery replacement kit for this, so be here by um, Tuesday, next Tuesday at the latest. Comes with all the tools I need to pull this thing apart and replace the battery myself at a fraction of the cost of getting this thing sent away. Because I'll be at, a, at about 50% bang, straight to zero. No warning, just drops straight dead. And I'll try to charge it in the wooden charge, so I let it sit on the warning low battery warning on the screen to that stopped and went flat completely with no power at all and then I charged it then it charged up fine I went to 50% got to 58% bang straight to 100% within a second skipped the rest so the battery starts starting to act up in this so that time I'll replace it I might do a video on replacing that when, I, when the kit arrives it's pretty easy to do there's millions of YouTube videos out there but yeah just for the hell of it eh why not do a video on it myself I left the light bulb here full of water corroding. Check it out. We have a friend living in there, a spider. <laughs> I want to try and undo this short and put power to that filament underwater. I'm going to un untangle those uh, filament leads. Watch that thing burn it underwater. I can't seal it because if I try and seal it, the heat will melt. Because what I was originally going to do, fill up to about half and seal that down and put it in a microwave with a little mini, mini steam bomb but because it's, um, it's going to melt the seal it's not going to work out very well so might as well power it up like that oh well well look at that went flawlessly didn't it really cool now i think i'm not 100 percent sure but i think you can get the windows 7 drivers for this machine i think I have to re google it and remind myself. I think I've got the drivers, but not for Windows 7. I've only got the XP and um, Windows 2000 drivers for this. Bit slow, but uh, no SATA. If I can find an idea to SATA adapter for an SSD or something, that'd be cool. You can whack this in your um, home theater. Um, the moment is a media center. It's got a media center on it. Plug an external hard drive in the back. 
have all your movies and stuff on that, and you use this to uh, rip DVDs and watch movies on. Takes place where your VCR used to be in your TV cabinet. You just have one of these little small form factor computers to replace it. Anyway, let's do this for Windows Pausification. No rating, so it's not going to tell me much. 30 gigabytes of RAM, 266 gigahertz Pentium 4, 32 bit obviously. Let's do some ratings without the drivers. Yeah, I reckon it'll be about 1 or 2 at max. I reckon 2 to 3, I reckon. Might be very good, this one. The graphics going to be about 1. <laughs> it's not too bad though. Happy it runs it quite well for what it is. Now to put the drivers on for me Wi Fi. <laughs> graphics, awesome! That's about what that server scored on its um, integrated graphics. <laughs> That's epic. One processor 3.6, and that was 3.8. That's not bad. 4.4 on the RAM. That's alright. 4.7 on the hard drive. One. Man, if only this thing had a GPU um, option to put a graphics card in it. Boy, that's the main left out of this thing. The bloody graphics. Bastard. Otherwise, this would be epic. That would be unstoppable if it wasn't for the graphics. Anyway, the Wi Fi is going. Time to Google the rest of the drivers for this bitch. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Anyway. Oh, damn. I am been a, being a bit mean to Windows 7, but. Windows 7 runs a much crappier hardware than this. It's a little slow for what I what I like, but it's actually working quite well. I'm still yet to find a key for this one to activate. It's the only Windows 7 that can't activate. But anyway, proof of concept that runs it quite well. <laughs> Just putting the uh, antivirus stuff in here. This also wants the Wi-Fi to be out there to work properly. It's weird. This one here does it too, even though it's a better computer. It's odd. But anyway. Damn, these things get hot. It says this thing's got an Acer chipset. Um, Intel, Intel based uh, chipset, but I think it, the actual, um, it's, it's run by Acer. So I need Intel uh, um, drivers, but the chip's made by Acer. As it says on the, um, on the specs here. From what I can see, this looks like an Asus made board. Could behind that HP engineering sticker, it's P4ST. And that font is, um, uh, yeah, proprietary to Asus. So, looks like this is an Asus built board. It's quite a nicely uh, built um, machine. This is, this is the last of the solid, solid brick ones. So these ones will fall off a building and survive. So this is the last of those types. There yeah, well, we might make a good uh, tinker box, so we're going to get the most out of it, run uh, Windows 7 on it. There you are. Alright. Bit slow, but eh. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Ooh, good space eater. Thanks for watching.